Hey guys and dolls and welcome back into the channel, my name is Jason and today I'm just going to cut through all the fluff, we're going to go straight into the charts on NND and one of our favourite players on this channel, we're going to be talking about if there's any news articles that have recently been released and then we're going to go through some of the other plays and I'm going to be taking a look and diving into the NEO charts and seeing what is in store for NEO over the next few weeks until we get news and announcements coming through at the beginning of April and what to expect. And all I ask is that you hit that like button if you find value and consider joining this family of investors by hitting that lovely big red subscribe button below because I would love to have you on this journey with us as we make money together. So guys, I'm on the Twitter page for NNDM and we actually haven't had much news at all come out from the CEO on Twitter recently, only the fact that we did have that first ever integrated RF circuit that went to space and that was one big step for the additive manufacturing electronics. I did go on to talk about in my last video, if you haven't seen it on NNDM, is a full update on them just last week, then I would click it above and watch that at some point because it's packed with information and is a reason as to why I believe believe NNDM are actually going to be put into the new ARC X ETF which is due to come out any point in the next month or even at the very beginning of May if anything is pushed back because the SCC filing that ARC did for the new X space ETF was filed on January 13th. So usually within a three month period they would then start to announce that the ETF is actually going to be come out and everything has been confirmed. So we can expect some news of that at any point in April and they are actually confirmed that they are also looking for 3D printing stocks. Now, if we come onto here, we can also see that ARK Invest have actually still been purchasing shares of NNDM. And if we go onto the ARK Q, which is the Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF, we can see that Kathy Wood has actually got this quite high up the ladder still, and NNDM is actually worth a lot of money. She's got over 63 million there, guys. And that is over seven, is about, was about seven million shares right there. And that is almost 2% of her ARC Q ETF. So she does still have a lot of conviction in this stock. And despite the fact that she has also been buying up other 3D printing stocks, if we come down onto the list, we can see that also we've got DDD, which is 3D Systems Corp, which is another 3D printing company, is also inside her ARCQ ETF. And again, we also have A1. So that is another 3D printing uh, stock right there. Both of these stocks are going to be in direct competition with NNDM because they are manufacturing essentially a very similar type of product. But Nano Dimensions does have an advantage because their Dragonfly machine is so far ahead of a lot of their competitors and they are also looking to buy up some companies in their new acquisitions. Again, that I did go through in some of my latest videos. So if you haven't checked them out, then go through some of those videos that I did actually release over the last weeks because it does go into fully update as to what Joseph Stern is looking for right now in those acquisitions because there's two of them. There is a type a and a type B. Now if we come through onto the charts, we can see that NNDM has had that big sell-off. We did reach highs last week of a round about that $12 mark and you guys know I love to use the SMA on this channel as a technical indicator as to what NNDM is doing. Now you can see that they actually did touch down onto the 200 SMA and we have since gone below it. So that does go to show me that we are in a bear territory and again I would be using that 30 now on the RSI as optimum entry. I would wait for the signs of the RSI to hit a 30 go below it like it has here and then once it does start to curl back up and it does retouch onto that 30 that is when I would be looking to get in with a new position on NNDM that is again if you are looking to get in add this one to your radar I think that we are going to see some more volatility and that 200 is now acting as a support so until we actually do break above that 200 then that is going to be the resistance sorry not the support that is again going to be the resistance for NNDM moving forward now we can see that there is a clear layer of support that I have drawn up around $8. So this potentially could be a nice place to load the boat. There is only one analyst that is offering a price target on an NDM this year, and that is for $10, which is sitting around the current share price, but that is not taking into account any acquisitions or news that will come out later in this year. So we do have to know that that could really influence and give good catalysts to move the stock price of an NDM forward. And guys, we know that an NDM has in the past actually achieved those highs of about $17. So we could easily see this again. Stocks always like to retest their highs at some point, given in time. So again, it is just about sitting patiently and trying to find the best levels of optimum entry. And you're going to get that by buying on those red days, buying on those dip days and lowering your risk in the long term and not buying with fear or FOMO, which I say F-O-M-O. 
fear of missing out and buying on those green days when the stock is actually moving up. So you have to have the opposite mindset as an investor. You have to train yourself to buy on those red days because that is the sale day where you are going to capitalize and make most profit. So if you do want more information on NNDM, like I said, check out some of those videos. So let's move into the charts on NEO next because NEO has been consolidating quite a lot. And I know a lot of you will be very concerned because you'll probably be down in NEO because we've been covering NEO on this channel for a long time. And some of you have written in the comments over the last two months that you were starting to average up and buy NEO when it was even 50 and even higher. So again, very understandable. And you have to remember, guys, that the price targets on NEO by a lot of top analysts right now are, in fact, for a hold or a buy. And we have price targets by the end of the year of $90. We have $60, even $70 and $80 by Deutsche Bank. And they are doing their global expansion into North way they are going to be coming to Europe this year and again we can expect them to hopefully have that US expansion we did have some NEO news recently where a new ET7 was actually spotted in California state of the US and again I did talk about that in my last NEO video so feel free to check that up I will link that above here for you if you haven't seen it and you want more information on to why that happened you did tune in on Monday morning when I did give a full update as to why I said the markets are going to be red over these next three days because they are auctioning off those bond yields 182 billion that we are going to see a lot of red in the market on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So I don't think the selling is done yet, guys. I think the selling will continue a few percent into tomorrow as well. But again, it just presents us with new buy the dip opportunities. And then moving from there, then I will expect to start to see those green days again. So it's just about sitting patient as an investor. And again, we will be rewarded in the long term, I really do believe, if we are patient. And I do think that these prices are extremely cheap for NEO in the long term. This is going to be a triple digit stock. It is absolutely a no brainer guys it is just a matter of time until we do have those news and catalysts that will start to push the share price of neo moving forward because they are in one of the largest market caps in the world so if you are someone that is sitting down in your position then my thought to you although it's not financial advice because i'm not a financial advisor i can only tell you what i'm doing with my money i am holding neo and will continue to hold neo i haven't sold out of any of my stake because i'm very convinced that neo is going to be a triple digit stock by the end of the year. So it is just a matter of waiting patiently and in the long run, I believe that we will all be very much rewarded. So you just have to train yourself to be very emotionless when it comes to investing and not let the daily noise or volatility affect your decisions to actually buy or sell the stock if you are selling it in reasons of panic. So again, you just want to only do that when you are convinced that it has hit a price target that you have set or in fact if you have a stop loss and you need to get out but if you train your mind almost like a robot to not think emotionally then you are going to have an advantage that in the market generally overall so right now i do think that we can see some consolidation sitting around that 45 dollar range and below and again i think that the lowest this will go now is to around that 37 dollar range we do have a very clear strong support guys at 32 as you can see when we did have that big sell-off and there was a huge wick there that was created and again we had a very strong rebound and the price actually pushed up about 50 percent from 30 dollars all the way up to 45 in a matter of a day or two so that goes to show me that there are a lot of buyers in neo and again it is just about waiting patiently and we will all be rewarded so guys that wraps up this video for today i hope that you did so guys that wraps up this video for now i hope that you did enjoy those quick updates on nndm and neo and i hope that this brought you some light and some confidence if you are in fact a shareholder in neo and again those price predictions for you at nndm around that 20 dollar and also neo a triple digit stock coming into the later part of next year so again those are my two price targets that i have set out on neo and also on nndm so i'm not going to worry and be concerned at the level or prices that they are today and in fact if we do have any further pullbacks or dips then that could be presented as nice buying opportunities. Again, with NNDM, just before you go, I would not be buying personally at this level. I would wait until we do actually have a test down onto that layer of support around that $8 range or below if we did ever in fact dip into that $6 range, which I do think would have to have a lot of selling pressure. And again, we would see a very quick V-shaped recovery if that was to happen. But the potential to then go back up to those $17, I think coming later on at the end of this year, once we do have those acquisitions and that news come out that NNDM have acquired new companies and new businesses hopefully to swallow up their competitors then again we are going to see those nice pushes in that share price so that wraps up this video like i said i hope you guys have a great day stay safe out there and i will see you guys back on my channel for some more content on investing soon peace